Hello, my friends. My name is Darren Gertis. It is Sunday, April 7th, and this is the Daily Brief. So there are 820 Russians off the battlefield, 17 tanks, 54 armored combat vehicles, 79 vehicles and fuel tanks. So it's it has been ongoing, like the, the fighting hasn't subsided. But how do you tell whether there's an uptick or downtick? We should look at this. This is, um, so first, here's the losses and here's the percentages that are Russian losses uh, and uh, Ukrainian losses per Andrew Perpetua. Uh, but here, this is the uh, British military update. And they say this, the average number of Russian losses killed and wounded in Ukraine reduced by 74 per day throughout March 2024 to 913 per day. The decrease in losses corresponds with fewer reported attacks over the past month. The reduction in Russian offensive operations highly likely reflects a series of factors, a period of rest and refit following the capture of Vadika, an intent to reduce death notifications during the election. Since, now here this is what's important, since the February 2022 invasion, Asian, Russian forces have sustained 658 losses a day on average. So that's the baseline throughout the war. Each year has seen a rise in the daily average loss rate from 400 average daily in 2022 to 693 average in 2023 to 913 throughout the first quarter of 2024. The increase reflects Russia's ongoing reliance on ma uh, mass to sustain pressure. Mass is like meat waves attacks, like we got to keep just pushing out into the front line uh, to sustain pressure on Ukrainian front lines. So the average has been 600. 93 in 2023 and that went up to 913 and so with that in mind let's go back and look at this 820 is down from 913 but it's up from last year but it's it's starting to come down a little bit okay that's how you can tell when you're looking at that Okay, air defenses wipe out Putin's drones in overnight strike as three are killed in Zaporizhia. At night, the Russian occupiers attacked Ukraine once again using 17 attack drones. Ukrainian air defense forces destroyed all of them, according to the Ukrainian general staff. Um, now, the problem is that they're running out of air defense missiles inventory. It's in dire condition and they might soon run out. And Zelensky was saying that if it keeps going at the rate it was going over the last month. We might run out of air defense missiles. Partners know it. So do the Russians. And so this is a very, very dangerous place to be. It's like running out of artillery shells on the front line. Okay, there's this interesting scandal. And it's interesting for a couple of reasons. One, we don't know which what's really going on. And I'll explain that in a moment. But two, we haven't heard a lot about scandals in the last month or two. Um, now, that could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Not hearing a lot means it could be covered up or not meaning hearing a lot means it's not happening. It's likely that it's reducing because there have been a, there's been a lot of sunlight uh, showing what is going on with scandals and that tends to disinfect. Scandal with military call up to journalist. So here's what happened. So an investigative journalist found out that the wife of the head of Ukraine security services, cybersecurity department, purchased an apartment in December 2023 in the market price of which was more than 515,000 US dollars, but she got it at 330 US dollars. Okay, now that could be nothing or it could be something. It, it looks a little shady, right? So after that, this is what looks even shadier. The military enlistment office's employees tried to issue a call-up notice to the journalist, and that looks extra shady. So again, it could be nothing, could be something, but they're going to be looking into it and help have a complete investigation. Okay, last little bit. Weapons of mass destruction in Iraq was a lie. How many lies are you being told right now, says Marjorie Taylor Greene? Well, of course, weapons of mass destruction, everybody thought, the British thought, we thought, Israel thought, whoever, everybody thought that Iraq had what they had. It turns out Saddam was saber-rattling to look like he had all this stuff, and he, his bluff was called, and it was a very bad thing. Randy Mott's reply was, follow Marjorie Taylor Greene to get your daily dose. Of what? 
<laughs> of lies. All right. Well, here's his final meme. Russia is surrounded by enemies. What about Yemen? I'm a moron. Nazis are everywhere. World War Three. Iraq. It's going to be cold. Proxy war. Okay. So... <laughs> So when you keep hearing the same propaganda talking points again and again and again, you just wonder, like, what's at the root of this? All right, that's all that I have. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and the coffees. And thank you most of all for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.